This is the quest guide for the Secrets of the North. Quest requirements are making friends with my arm, the general shadow, devious minds and a seal cult. Skill requirements are 69 agility, 64 thieving, 65 hunter and they recommend a combat level of 85. Standard location is in East Ardeal. The same place you started the Hazel's cult. The easiest way there is a teleport to Ardi or a monastery teleport. Items you require for this quest. You need to thin the box 100 gold. Those are the hard requirements. Helpful teleports are the monastery teleport with the Ardi cloak, an icy basalt, bringing two stamina potions will speed up the quest. Bring combat gear and make sure it's either your best range or mage gear. First up, we start to talk with the guard outside of the house to start a quest. After talking to the guard, the guard goes upstairs, so we follow him upstairs. After talking to the guard upstairs, you have to investigate three things. The broken window with the glass, the body that's on the ground, and the hidden wall. If you open that, it will allow you up to a higher room. In that room is a chest. Investigate the chest. After you did that, go talk to the guard. The guard will send you off to the fight caves area. There's a pub there. Go to the pub, talk to the barman. Ask about Avalot at the barman. He will not tell anything unless you pay him 100 gold, so pay him 100 gold. After he did that, he said you can follow the tracks outside, search the barrel outside, and you magically see some footsteps appear. If you ever did herb or this is just like that. So investigate the rock. After that, investigate the bush. After that, investigate the stump, the tree stump. After which we investigate the boulder. Investigate the bush, then you find a NPC. Be careful, you want to bring some food and a weapon, because he's gonna attack you. I think you can just pray melee against him, I, I'm not sure. As you can see, I just wrecked him. I didn't even bring any food or anything. After you defeat him, he's gonna send you to the cult of Hazil. Quick teleport is the monster teleport. And then you go to the sewers. Go with the draft. After that, just walk up and talk to the NPC that's there. He will summon the two Majorats, Hazil and General Ka Karazard. They will have a conversation with you. After that conversation, you have to go back to the house where this all started. You have to talk to the family members, to the kid, he doesn't have much to say. The mom has a lot to say but nothing useful. And then you go and down the letter, you talk to the cook. The kid sees something, so we gotta investigate this area. There's this, there's this cupboard, the third from the west. After you search that cupboard you will be able to press a button and a wall will be able to open up. After you get in there you need to uh, pick a lock. It's quite a cool minigame. It's quite easy as well. Just do what I did. I did. You can see which one are right which are wrong. And with a quick monastery teleport go back to Hazil's cult. After that, take an icy basil after the conversation and go to Weiss. Talk to these two new trolls that are in the north part of Weiss. After which, talk to the leader, Snowflake, and my arm. After you've done that, go down the cave. Go down into the mine and investigate the cave. Then go back to the two trolls outside. After you talk with them, they will meet you down inside the cave. After you talk to them, a cutscene will start. You will have to fight the assassin. But you can only hurt the assassin when he's standing inside a cloud of smoke. Be aware he throws poison bombs which you can dodge by stepping aside. I did not do it of course, because I'm stupid. After you defeat the assassin, 
that's it. Make sure to loot everything you can when you get back outside. You can search this chest, you can open this door and search the table and the chest. You will probably don't have enough inventory space. And I'm not even sure if you need everything here. But what you do need is to make sure that you grab a lever handle from a, this barrel here. To all last luck, you have to press left, up, left, down. As you can see me do. So you get in here, place the handle you just got inside the lever mechanism. And pull the lever. Open the middle rune by spelling out blood. B-L-O-O-D. Open this chest by typing in 7402. 7402. Then light the braziers in this order. Northwest, southeast, northeast, southwest. Like I'm doing. After which you have to search a pillar in the room you fought the assassin to find the last shard. Combine these two shards to open the icy chest. With the icy chest open, you get an icy key. Now, before we go on, I recommend gearing up for uh, the boss fight because now we're getting into the boss fight. So, grab some prayer potions, some ranging potions if you're ranging, and try not to die. The quest boss isn't really hard, but it has some mechanics you need to know about. When you start the boss fight, it will start with meleeing you. And he changes his color to green and you'll know that he'll try to range you, so you want to protect from range. But sometimes he does a magic attack like that, so you want to protect from magic. That was a bit late. But basically you just shoot him, and then this phase starts. So in this shadow phase you can just try to click on him and you will auto, auto attack him. But you gotta try to dodge all the shadows on the ground, because they will hurt you. The strange creature will also summon spikes from the ground that will follow you. So try to stay away from them. Um, if he's brown, he's gonna melee you, so try to get stay out of his reach. When he turns green like this, he will range you. Uh, sometimes he will do a mage attack. And you can see it coming by him doing an elaborate attack. Just keep your prayer at range and swap to mage the moment he attacks. When you kill him for the first time, he will respawn or he will get his health back and he will get some, some kind of prayer above his head. His health bar will turn purple. And there is a way to easily kill him. I did not have it. Uh, if you smite him, you got you got drain his prayer pretty much. If you smite him, uh, you got to pay attention, so you swap every time to block his attacks well as well. But the easiest way will would be using Sapphire Bolts E, because they have a prayer draining effect, and you can two shot them. You could, you can two shot this face. If you get lucky. If you don't have any of that, just see this as a tank test. You can just hit him and he will it will slowly drain. After which he will turn into his old self and you will have to continue the last part of the fight. So remember pray range until he switches to a magic attack, then pray magic for that one attack, and then immediately go back to range. And after you kill him, you got a few cutscenes. Some stuff happens. After which you get teleported back to Artie. You have to talk to the guard to complete the quest and get the rewards. Now good luck grinding this boss. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out my Snowflake account.